Powell goes left side to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! And Bilal Powell takes it the distance. Doing a little shake and bake by Bilal Powell. Bilal, when you got drafted in the fourth round in 2011, did you ever think this day would come that you'd actually retire a New York Jet after nine seasons? No. No. And it's something that, you know, my wife and I talk about. It's, it's one of those things where it's just day to day. Every day I came in, you know, one day went by one week and then nine years and, you know, here I am now. You're pretty unique in the fact that nine years with the same team, you were a free agent a couple times, but you ultimately resigned here. Why? I had a couple opportunities to leave, to go play for Super Bowl contending team, playoff contending teams. I remember one year, two of the teams that wanted me in free agency ended up playing in the Super Bowl that same year. And I just always chose to come back to New York because I always wanted to see the trophy come back there again. It was a, a thing for me deep down. And I signed my name on that contract to become a New York Jet, that I want to stay a New York Jet. And that was for me personally. I always wanted to see that trophy come back, not only for myself, but for the, the Jets fan base. Because I knew if we can just get that thing back, if we can just start winning, the, the atmosphere in that stadium, the culture in that stadium is insane. And I just always wanted to see that trophy back there. Can you talk about that connection with the fans? Because it always was special ever since the day that you took the field. I mean, people still talk about Bilal to this day. It's not easy being a fan favorite in New York. And you know, there's some <laughs> tough fans out there. But once they love you, they love you. And it's, it's one of the funnest teams and cities to play a game of football in. That fan base on Sundays or on game day, it's something that you have to just experience for yourself. And, you know, just the, the, the support you get around the city. Makes a man miss, turns the corner, he walks into the end zone. That's a jet touchdown. What would you have told yourself looking back? It, Bilal Powell, as a young kid, because we talked about it, we've chronicled it, that, hey, there was a point in your life when you had a decision to make. You go this way or that way, mm -hmm. and, you, and you chose a decision. Can you imagine, like, having that conversation with a young Bilal at this, at this point? No, I can't. Just sitting here is, to me, you know, seeing what the organization is doing now uh, for me. Uh, it means a lot to me. But just looking back on myself and you know, some of the obstacles that I had to overcome throughout my life, I didn't think I'd be here. Um, you know, if I had the opportunity now to talk to that young man growing up, I tell him there's always a decision that's going to change the outcome of the rest of your life. And you know, I was blessed to uh, overcome some of those decisions that I made to get here and to be a professional, uh, to beat the odds. You know, I don't think, I think the statistics of two and a half, three years, I played right. nine. So for me, it was just a different focus that I had to go into, which is a huge decision that I had to make in high school to get a different focus, to, you know, become the 1% in the entire world. What kind of emotions are gonna go through your body when you sign that one day contract? And it's, it's going to take me all the way back. It's going to take me all the way back to, you know, the time when there were people who probably didn't believe in you. It's going to take, it's just going to take me back. You know, you don't think about the future at that time. You think about all those, all the moments, the memories, right? You don't, you don't miss, you miss certain things of it, right? And to know that this chapter of my life is, is, is its closure for me and to understand that I'm a jet for life.